Now, let's take a look at fear for a second. We're going to unpack this. Because here's the secret to clearing all your interference so that you can then go down and say, dude, I want the consistent 300-yard drive with the slight little draw down the left side. Right? None of this is going to happen. That's not going to happen while you're in this. So we've got to start here. There are only two things in life we fear. One, the useful reason we do fear in our, in our world, physical harm to our body, right? You're hiking in the woods, a grizzly bear comes upon you. Is that a good time to have fear? Yes, yes it is. A uh, uh, poisonous snake comes up to you, a good time to have fear? Yes. Uh, walking downtown Seattle in the wrong time and wrong place, wrong neighborhood at 4 a.m. in the morning, hearing clicks and, and maybe uh, triggers. Good time to have fear? Absolutely. <laughs> so fear is good. We want to have the ability. What if you did not get that? What if you didn't get the fear response at all? You would die. You would do a bunch of dumb stuff. You wouldn't give a crap. You might try to fly off buildings. Hey, I want to be like to fly off this building today. I wonder if I could fly. You'd do all kinds of crazy stuff. And you wouldn't live very long, right? So this is actually useful and good. And by the way, and I could spend an hour on this, but, and I'll give you the highlights, all emotions are good. Because all other fear that we do, and I'm talking about worry, anxiety, tension, all that stuff, and I mentioned all the other difficult emotions come under this heading as well. All, well, before I answer, you guys, um, uh, worst case scenario, I don't know, you blow a tournament, you blow a qualifier on the last hole, and, um, you know, you do a Jean Van de Velde. You guys know who Jean Van de Velde is? This generation. <laughs> he, he, in the British Open, all he had to do was double bogey the 18th hole, and he would have won. And he compounded, hit out of a creek, made it worse, ended up tying with like a, a quadruple or something like that. And then he lost in the playoffs, the, the biggest choke in golf of all time. Jean Vandeville, British Open. He's actually famous now because of it, which is another... Uh, I use this story for other reasons. But anyway, what is the worst thing that happens, let's say in golf or in life? Uh, let, let's use golf. Who can give me a scenario you can imagine is the worst thing that happens? Coach, why don't you give, tell me what is their worst case scenario for golf? Blow a tournament, blow a, a putt for the whole team. I don't know. What's the worst? Oh, <laughs> no, it's not. Getting cussed out by the coach on the van ride home. Because? Because uh, we lost. All right, all right. Uh, you guys can come up with worse scenarios than that. I mean, I got one. It, what? Last year, last goal of uh, the tournament here, um, our invite that we had, they took a, took a 10 and missed going abandoned by one stroke. There you go. That's a good one. That's right. Yeah. So, let's see. Let's check in on that event. Coach Sigal, did anybody shoot you? Did, did you get put in a cage with some grizzly bears that mauled you afterwards? Did you get put in a cage with some grizzly bears that mauled you afterwards? Did you get put out on the streets with no food, clothing, and shelter? Did anybody beat you up, stab you, maul you, hurt you in any way, shape, or form? What happened then? What actually happened at the end of all that? I uh, cried. Cried and went home. <laughs> something happened. Something else happened. What? What happened? Anybody? What happened to him? Or any of us in, in situations like that? What happened? What's the worst part about that? Felt like... You got Felt like Boom! Feel bad. That's all that happens. That's all that happens. Wait, it's going to get even funnier. 
you guys are going to laugh even more. The only thing that will happen to you in life that we fear is physically get harmed, injury or death, correct? Or we're going to feel bad. (laughs) Which are emotions. The only thing in life we fear. Now, here's where it gets even more funny. What are emotions? So, in the case of uh, feel bad from failure or whatever, right? We're going to probably feel, I'll just give you the answers, disappointment, embarrassment, right? Low confidence, on and on like that. Frustration, right? That's the end of the line. That's all that happens. That's all that happens to you. What if we weren't afraid of those things? Which is what is creating our interference to our performance potential. Because if you guys choke in golf, you miss this four-foot putt, nobody's going to knife you, correct? Nobody's going to beat you up. I don't know, does Coach Graber do any physical harm? To the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they're not afraid of that. I already know that. Uh, exactly. No. Check this out. Emotions are nothing more than communication from your unconscious mind to your conscious mind to let you know how you're doing in life. It's internal communication. It's communication going this way. The way the unconscious mind does that is by releasing some chemicals in your body primarily from a place called the hypothalamus, but other parts of the body now we know as well. Some of you might take them biology, health, things like that. Every emotion has a chemical configuration. They're called peptides, amino acid strings. These chemicals get released. They go to appropriate parts of your body and they make you feel something. The feeling is the bodily experience. The emotion is... Fear, worry, you know, sadness, guilt, happy, joy, excitement, whatever. Right? So check this out. You guys all, and by the way, this is 90% of the interference. This might be 10 or less. You guys, all you golfers and all the athletes I work with, by the way, and pretty much every human being on the planet, so you're in good company, all... Screw up your golf game because you're afraid of your chemicals. You're afraid of your own chemicals. Isn't that silly? Yeah. 